what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today hopefully guys day is going all well in today's video i'll be updating my review for soil aio the previous video which you are seeing on the screen right now is for version 4 version 5 has been out since then however for this current video at this current time on this current day we'll be using version 5.3.0 and i will be reviewing that telling you guys my overall opinion how to use the bot etc so let's jump straight into it when you open the bot you are greeted by the task configuration part of the bot you have the number of tasks the site the product the size the proxies the billing the timer the status and the actions so if we were to go ahead and add a task you have all these sections you have adidas you have shopify you have footlocker you have supreme magenta and porter for different modes you have different options so let's say on adidas you have all these different type of options you can generate an account or log into an existing account and you can go ahead and add accounts in the settings and also you can add shipping only in full or checkout obviously add the pid sizes the site the region you're in and obviously non slash slash proxy groups and then your profiles then you have shopify which is the site the keywords and url the size the price cap the star logins which you can do through the settings then for modes you have normal safe fast discord checkout extension checkout checkout and browser generate checkout urls that's in combination with your webhook which you can do through discord and then for your options you have non false key q bypass and u store checkout then obviously you can use your profile and a specific proxy group if you wish then moving on to footlocker you have all the regions once again then you have different checkout modes you have normal and checkout in browser the proxy group the profile and the url slash variant and the sizes then for supreme you have your categories you have the sizes you can do restock or not my in my opinion if you are running for a drop you make some restart tasks and some non restart tasks just so you can maximize your profit and your success keywords color or my or check out delay check out delay and then obviously you have your profiles and your proxy groups then moving on to magento you have the site your url the size the profile and the proxy group which is pretty simple and then moving on to porter you have the site the region the pid the size the proxy group and the profile and that concludes all the sections of all the sites it supports so it's a pretty simple easy thing to understand and obviously at the bottom it tells you how many proxies you have loaded how many tasks you have loaded the start all the stop all the clear button obviously if you want to clear all your tasks you have to stop all your tasks first and then clear your tasks and if you want to mass edit you can obviously select which side uh, which tasks you want to do you can also select tasks as well and change them that way you can also change your delays as well edit the timer and so on and so forth moving on to proxies this actually been changed quite a bit in my opinion i really really like it you can test your proxies on different regions so obviously supreme shopify canada adidas stuff like that and also you can add a group so let's say i want to add a group here and my group is called resi and let's say all this group consists of resis and all you have to do then is add proxies add your proxies into here and let's say you get a different type of proxies from a different provider you can be like adding resi cookies so you can test the success and see which resis work best for you so then going into future releases you know exactly which proxies work the best for you going on to billing this is pretty simple hasn't changed much from 4.0 all you guys have to do is go ahead and type in your name your email the basic things obviously you can go ahead and enable billing if you want a different billing but if you don't enable it and duplicate the shipping onto the billing then obviously the cool feature that Soul AIO has is that it has a picture of a card and you can go and ed edit a live card so it looks exactly like yours and obviously you can set a checkout limit per card if you guys wish and also you can configure the type of card you have as well on this page you can also import and export profiles you can ask for a new profile a test profile and also you can delete profiles as well going on to settings you have the capture services where you have to put an api key ticket and put an api key in delays which you can always uh, change for certain tasks quick tasks so obviously you have to set that up if you want to use your monitors within groups monitor threads your adidas email your password your webhook if let's say if you want to test that for example it will send a test notification to your webhook and as you guys can see one has been sent right here so going on to advanced which is basically the extension of settings you can basically set up a site's uh, accounts and shipping rates so let's say i have a specific site that has different shipping rates let's say like blends all i have to do is click add the site and then you can go ahead and edit the account and editing the shipping rates in accordance to that and for the final thing about the entire bot is the harvester when you click new harvester you can open up as many as you want you can also configure it to have a proxy if you wish then you have the harvest button the youtube button the activity button and the reset button all accordance to your gmail that you sign into 
with this harvester. So now that I've concluded the basic tutorial part of this video, I will be talking about my general review of Soul AIO, its real sale price, how the market's looking, and essentially my basis and answers. Once again, this is my opinion. So if you guys go ahead and disagree with me, or you guys have some personal experiences with the bot, go ahead and comment that down below. If you guys want any help with the bot, by all means, DM me on Discord and Twitter. Those will be linked down below. However, my basic analysis of this bot is that the variety of modes within this bot helped it cook towards were Yeezy Supply, DSM and KIF on a consistent basis. This bot is pretty pretty consistent, one of the most consistent bots in the market which is why people go ahead and buy it and which is why the resales price has stabilised after a lot of market going upwards. So obviously if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself a copy my personal opinion the price is roughly sitting around $500 to $550 depending on the person you get some people do dip below that if they want to get a quick cash out but that is roughly the price within uh, common marketplaces like Tidal and Botmart and uh, honestly I can only see this bot going upwards the devs are very hard working they put a lot of time into this and the bot is working on a consistent basis it created its name like its main success from DSM it works really really well on DSM however its success has gone ahead and spread it to many more sites providing more checkouts for its users and overall upping its success let's get from 1 to 10 I'll solidly give Soleil a 9 out of 10 this bot is definitely a bot you should check out I will leave a link to the title down below if you guys want to go check out the prices in there that's it for me guys I'm gonna catch you guys next time peace out